What's up everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, of course, I have a new boot. Um, colorway, actually. Not a new boot, because I think I've done the premiere. Have I done the premiere? Anyways, I don't know, but this is the Nike Premiere 3. And of course, it caused a lot of controversy for a little bit um, for people because, as you know, this was the last leather boot, I guess, that Nike was making. Um, kind of aimed at like the um, old heritage type boot, leather, um, kangaroo leather. And, you know, knowing that Nike went away from the temple being leather, you know, I think people really wanted to gravitate towards this. But then they came out and said that this was no longer going to be um, leather as well. And it was a synthetic. So people kind of went, you know, a little crazy with that too, thinking like, wow, we're not going to get no leather from Nike at all. But in certain colors, it was saying that it was still leather. And so it kind of confused people as to what was leather, what is synthetic, um, because we were definitely still getting boots with this nice um, plush leather in the toe box. So um, people really didn't know if it was leather or not. I think the only people that could probably know were the ones from California because if um, you they probably wouldn't let them order it because for some reason I'm not familiar with uh, California law but apparently you know you can't get leather products delivered to you um, so yeah that was one of the main issues is people knowing or not knowing if it was leather or not the not leather would have been good for people who are like vegan um, I'm sure there's vegan soccer players out there for people who believe in them, you know they have their beliefs and they're totally okay that's okay um so they but the thing is that i don't think they ever stopped making them with a leather even just this toe box area is, was still leather i don't know about this part but this is definitely again let me show you guys this is definitely still a leather it's very soft um to the touch and you can tell that it is still leather um so that had a lot of people wondering, um, was it synthetic? Is it leather? Now, I did watch a video um, talking about this Mexican brand that was no longer going to be using leather in their boots. And they came out and said that the reason why it still had leather on the toe box as well. But I guess for some reason, laws or something said that if you're if it didn't contain at least 80 percent of something, it could not be, you know, said it was leather. It had to be basically synthetic or whatever material that you were using. So I kind of feel like maybe Nike just didn't want to come out and say that because they were still going to be using some type of leather. Um, I don't know. But um, let's look at the differences in the three. One of the major differences is the swoosh. The swoosh is now like a synthetic. This is definitely a synthetic, like a synthetic... Um, uh, Patent leather, of course, still has these little grip texturing things here. And then, of course, your soft, very soft toe box, um, your conical studs, which I wish they were a little bit longer, maybe um, be a little bit better. And then the logo on the back, of course, is different as well. And then it has your tongue that if you want, you can cut it off and it tells you where exactly you can do that um but yeah they have a ton of different colors of the nike premiere and now on the website it did say that it was just synthetic um it didn't say that it was leather but now it is going back to saying on the website if you go to the website um it does say that there's is leather in the boot and synthetic um as far as durability i feel like that's what they, most people have had issues with where it kind of comes apart here and you can kind of see in the toe box i understand maybe why people have that problem you can see right here maybe the glue part was coming undone not quite sure i haven't really tested a premiere um fully to like to see if it was, they hold up on me or not um, so but that's, I mean, people, I think are using them on AG pitches, which is probably not 
the thing to do, especially with these. It is a thinner boot. It is like a heritage type boot, but definitely like an updated version. A new version of that, very lightweight, uh, pretty tight fitting. I think go true to size and it should stretch out for you. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think if you're gonna get these just with people based on people saying that the durability issues, I would definitely have this like maybe just like a game day boot and have another boot um, on hand for for prices um but yeah it's i mean you're not getting much technology in this other than if you still want something with leather which nike doesn't really have anything like that out other than the premiere so i mean you can no nonsense just straightforward leather boot some synthetic pretty good uh but thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one peace